I'll show you a little bit about the headlight here. Um, I don't know, is this a good place to be right here? You're too high. Too high? I got it there. Right there? Yep. Can you actually see it? Yeah. All right. Down here, uh, headlight fits in your car this way. It's got a glass uh, lens over the top that's underneath this chrome here, this chrome trim ring. And you can see mine's got a little bit of red silicone here. Uh, driving on the freeway, I get a lot of rock chips. These are old Hella lenses, uh, old school originals, and um, pretty hard to come by actually, the real ones. And I just patch the holes up with a little silicone if they leak water. Keeps the water out so they don't fog over in the wintertime. And I'll run them till I can't see through them anymore, pretty much. Um, I don't care for the aftermarket crap. I'd rather have the old, uh, old stuff. Man, it's not pretty anyway. So you got the bucket here and the trim ring, your two adjusting screws, which basically rotate the very center here, which is the bulb holder, on a couple of pivots. And uh, you can do up and down and side to side with these screws, working them in and out on this center bucket that the actual bulb fits in. Um, the bulb is held in by these little spring clips here, and uh, I'll take one out. Can you see it? Yep. Uh, little spring clips. This uh, I happen to have four in here. I don't know what the factory number is. I uh, probably added more than belong, um, just because I did. Uh, more is better. Anyway, so the spring clips pop those out, they go into a little groove here in the bucket and they push up against a little ring that hold, actually holds the bulb. So I get those out of the way. And then, there we go, we'll get the little ring off. This ring holds the uh, bulb in place and it has a little uh, tang on it. Can you see that? Or no? A little tang? Yep. That uh, fits in a slot on the inner bucket to keep it oriented in the correct direction up and down. And uh, so we take that off and then here's your bulb. Anyway, this one here is a bad one. Put it aside. Now the uh, inner bucket here is attached with the two pivots side to side on and uh, actually side to side and the adjusting screws to another outer ring which is what is, is attached to the chrome and your uh, front glass is sandwiched in between those two pieces and it's held on by a bunch of the same type of spring clips and I noticed one here has popped off the lip and not really doing anything so I was gonna go ahead and get it put back where it belongs while I'm in here um, if I can get it out of there I'm gonna have to get a different tool this video is good for anything um, but these are kind of odd headlights and if you got to change the bulb in them the first time or two that you do it it's kind of a kind of a chore you got to figure it out how does it go together and um, there we go and I'm going to rotate that around just a little bit to another location. See if I can get it to pop in there correctly. I think what the problem with the spring is, it's in backwards. There we go. That's the ticket right there. That'll fit. And actually hold it in place better.
There we go. Anyway, that holds the lens and this bucket assembly in a, a better fashion. And while I have this apart, I'm going to go ahead and change the little parking light bulbs. Um, since I have it open, I don't actually have to remove the holder. You can do it with the small bulbs, even with the headlight in place. But being as I have it apart, I can go ahead and replace these bulbs without taking this little holder loose. I generally give the mounting screw just a tiny uh, loosen and tighten as uh, that's part of the grounding of everything and uh, with moisture and whatnot uh, things rust and that doesn't make a good ground so give it a little loosen and then a little tighten. It tightens down on a little nylon spacer so you can't over tighten it. And then we have the little single element single filament bulb um, pop it in here. I don't know how many watts this is uh, this one says I think 9 watts or 8 watts on it unfortunately the packages nowadays at least on the brand of bulbs I bought are not labeled on the outside and you can't read the bulb through the plastic package so uh, Basically, I went by part number and I found a higher part number because I wanted them to be a little bit brighter than not. So, and of course, I put the bulb in cattywampus, so now it's all jammed up. Hey, let's get it back out of there. I think you can buy aftermarket uh, complete headlight bucket assemblies. Um, also while we're apart we're going to give this uh, contact point a little scratchy scratch with the end of the screwdriver make sure there's no goobers on it. Corrosion. And hopefully it'll work. Okay, bulbs in place. Then we'll throw a new headlight in it. Okay. This end up, it says. fits on the bulb. It has three, uh, well maybe it does, or maybe I can put the wrong down bulb. <laughs> there we go. The ring fits on the bulb, um, and the headlight has little uh, tabs. Um, yeah, tabs. There we go. Good, good, good call on that. Tabs, and the ring's got some cutouts for the tabs so that it only goes one way. And then you have your little tang here um, to orient it correctly in the fixture. There are uh, little slots cut out here. There's actually three tabs on this one. Two of them are bent sideways. I don't know what that's about. I have an idea. What it may be is I may be running bus headlights, bus headlight buckets here. Uh, the adjusters are different on buses than than bugs, and I may have uh, bent those tabs out of the way so I can orient my bulb correctly using this bucket assembly on a beetle. On a on a bus, the uh, headlights we're working on the. Uh, uh, we're working on the driver's side right now, so on a bus, the headlight would be oriented this direction with the mounting screw towards the center of the bus. On a Beetle, it's mounted this way, and I have an idea. This is a this bucket assembly here is from a bus, therefore I've 
bent two of the tabs out of the way and I used one to orient the headlight in the bucket in the correct direction. I'm not a stickler for stock. Uh, old bus, old bug, I don't care. It's they're basically they they're pretty close to the same. I have a box full of uh, headlight buckets and lenses and pieces to piece together headlights if I need to. So we're in there and then we find the, the notch, there we go, with our uh, tab and the headlights in there in the correct direction. Then we go back after these spring clips and uh, Hopefully you get it in there the, right the first time so that uh, you don't need spinach to get strong and become Popeye. That make any sense. <laughs> because they uh, do fit fairly tight. So you got to make sure you've got them in the notch before you let go. Otherwise you're looking around the shop to figure out where it went. We're digging through the parts box looking for another one. Okay, we got our four little holders in the way in there. Holding the lens in, we'll go pop it back in the car over there and see if it works. Phillips got a pair of pliers to tighten it down. All right, and here's a little trick that uh, I'll just uh, I'll be right back. Something I do um, keep an extra can of uh, see it. Boat trailer wheel bearing grease around. Uh, it's waterproof grease. And I generally just put a tiny daub on the end of the threads before I crank them in on just about every bolt that I take out of these cars um, to keep them from seizing up. Especially in places like this where it gets a lot of water and road spray and everything else. That way you're not looking to weld in a new nut on the back side of your fender later. And we had the gray wire which we decided was ground earlier. At least I think we decided that. So I'll go ahead and put, or actually no, let's see here. That's a hot wire. Looking at it again, which is actually blue at this end. And the stripe wire comes off of the headlight ground. Yeah, that's how it works. And put the plug back on. Make sure your wires are all good, nothing touching. Get it hung up on the top there. Line it up with the hole. Said with a grin. There it is. And that's where she wants to be, so that's where it's going to be. And then you find the uh, bolt you set down in the gravel. Right there. Good thing I got a helper here keeping an eye on me. Otherwise, I'd be uh, in the world of hurt. You'd end up walking to the emergency room. Yeah. <laughs> walking to the emergency room or digging for parts that I just lost. Kind of like rebuilding the carburetor and blowing it all out in the gravel here and shooting the seat right out. I never did find that. <laughs> 